And then the video of Stormzy, very sick as well. Now, how did that whole collab even happen? Did um, you reach out to him? Did you text him? I was going to say DM, but social media's gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, he, like, he's been, like, messing with me for a long time. I had these freestyle bars from before that I just laid down on the thing and I sent it to Stormzy and he was, he was messing with me. He was like, yeah, I'm going to lay something on it. Sent me back the verse. I was like, boy, this is mad. And then it was just like that. The rest was history. The rest mm -hmm. was history. One thing I do respect him for is that he gave our collaboration time because he could have tried to do a song with me back then, but I feel that would have affected my growth and it would have made me not Nux, the artist, but Nux, that guy that done the tune with Stormzy that mm. time. That's an interesting writing process, though. That was like you had something previously and you placed it on another beat. Is that usually your writing process when you do projects or is it tailor-made to what's going on? Usually, when I'm working on a project, I go in knowing what I want to do. So, for example, for Checkmate, I knew that I wanted to do a song kind of like about mental health or checking up on your brethren, but I didn't know how I was going to do it. So we got into the session, made the beat, and then the idea just came. Flowed from there. Do you get what I'm saying? Talk about Checkmate, the last time I checked my mates at Coco's was a time ago, so I don't <laughs> know how you got that. I thought Coco's was closed. Mm. But you done a show there recently. Yeah, yeah. Sold out. Yeah, it was crazy still. It was crazy, bro. That was the one with all the production, like we had the screens up and all of that stuff. All of the, um, the features came through. Because obviously when I was going up north, like I went to Manchester, I did Birmingham, and obviously I'm performing songs with features, but the features aren't there in it. And yeah. I know, like in my in my heart, when I'm performing the tune, I'm like, I know these lot think Stormzy's coming, Stormzy's not coming. A couple of the time, <laughs> I had to tell them, I was like, my man's not here, you know. Even Esso, I was like, bro, like he left his mask in the laundry mat, fam. That's what I said <laughs> on the stage. Do you get nervous before you perform? Small, small. Being a musician is one thing, but performing is not the same. It's, it don't, it's not a whole package. Mm. So you can be a sick musician and not know how to perform and not know how to be in front of people. So it's nerve-wracking knowing how many people are going to be watching you and all of this stuff. It's something you have to get used to. So I want to know one thing before you do go. Mm -hmm. What is the next step for Nux? Because honestly, I am so, so inspired by someone that is like a niche and becomes extremely big because you've actually done it mm. on your terms. And Number I three in the album charts as like, well. Can come we get on, some noise, like, please? Come on, stamp it down. Like, Thank you've you done this on your terms. It's mm. very inspiring to see. But what's next? I heard something off camera. I won't say it. I won't say it. Uh, 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 I won't even say the month. You whisper it to me. <laughs> I said, you won't even say the month. I trust the sound, man. I won't say it. It's crazy, you know. I see that word. The month. <laughs> um, festivals. I'm doing bear festivals. What festivals are you doing? I'm doing wireless twice. Oh, come on. Twice. Wireless um, twice. Do longitude, um, strawberries and cream. Yes. Um, Red, yeah, really nice. Yeah, 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 Reading, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What one are you looking forward to the most? Because I feel like wireless is going to go off. That's going to yeah, go off. Yeah, no, because I've done the wireless, you know when they did the VR type beat? Oh, yeah, yeah. During the COVID? Yeah. I was doing that, innit? And it was like, that was my first time doing wireless. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's a camera, it's, it's, no one's here. Yeah. So I think to actually be in front of the crowd in wireless, I think that's, that's what I'm looking forward to.